Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up everyone, Matt here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can create a duplicate inline view that has a different type. Say I'm looking at a parent level and I have a child level uh, inline view that's maybe a table, right? And say I wanna see those table, that those records in the table as a chart. How do you do that? I'm gonna go over it right now. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that you really need in order to get this all kind of started, right, is parent-child type of setup. So um, if you don't already have one, I've created a base sample app that I'll put a link down below that you can get to where it's a really simple thing. You've got a department table and an employees table. The idea being the employees are reference connected to the department. So when I look at a department record, I can see, such as like this, I can see an inline view of all the child uh, employee records. So that's the basic premise of the app, right? Super simple. So the idea that we're talking about here is like, I have this inline view, it's a table. Maybe I wanna see another inline view that's the exact same list, but I wanna see this as a pie chart. Maybe I wanna, like I've got a, a country, um, a variable inside this table. So maybe I want to create a chart view where I can view all of these inline records like this in a chart on this same page, right? Okay, so the method that you do in order to, to accomplish this is very straightforward. It's a four step process. Uh, step one, you create a slice. Step two, you create a view for your slice. That's where you say, this is the type of view that I want, say a chart, right? Um, then you create a copy of the child reverse reference. So in your parent level table, you've got a related whatevers, make a copy of that. And then number four, step number four is you change out what table that copy of the column you just made, the ref rows, you change out that from the root table to the slice you made in step number one. All right, I'm gonna go through each one in detail. You can walk through it with me right now. Step number one create a slice. So you have a parent and you have a child table, create a slice of the child table. So in my instance, the employees is my child table. So I'm going to go to slices and I'm going to make a new slice of employees. I'm going to give this a name of like employees chart, because I, the idea being this is going to be a chart view. And this is all you need to do. The, 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 the aspect that we're kind of exploiting here on the AppSheet platform is that in AppSheet, tables and slices are basically interchangeable. They are considered one in the same, right? So any place where you use a table name, you can generally use a slice name at, instead. Um, as long as it's the same root table, right? So the idea being I've got an employee's table and now I've created an employee's chart slice. Okay, any place where I'm using the employees, I could an interchange the name of this slice over here and it'll work just fine. Things like a select statement, a filter, order buys, anything like that where you're, where you're specifying the name of a table, you can also specify the name of a slice. Okay, so now that you've got your slice created, the specifics, uh, oh yeah, one last thing about this, no formula. That's the key here. So in AppSheet, tables and slices are interchangeable. They're basically the same thing. So when you create a slice like this that doesn't have a formula on it, whatever records are inside the root table will be inside this slice too. Do you get what I mean? So we've essentially duplicated that data source in a way. We've duplicated that table in a way inside our app. Now the other, so that's that's everything for step number one. You just need to make the slice, give it a name, save it, call it good. Uh, then step number two, create a view for that slice. Okay, so I was just talking about how tables and slices are basically the same thing. So when, when you're looking at them, they have different views. The, it's another aspect of the AppSheet platform that we're kind of exploiting with this is that tables and slices have separate views. Meaning 
when I'm inside UX, I have views specific for my employees, which is my root table, right? And I can create specific views for my slice. So if I create a new view and come here to the for this data, right? Now I've got that slice available as a dropdown. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna put this in the reference position. I'll give this a name of really simple employee chart. And the idea is now I'm gonna make this view the chart that I wanted to see, right? So I'll make it a chart. I'll make it an aggregate pie chart for the uh, country, right? And now I've got what I want. And like I can do a value so we can get a, uh, you know, account or whatever. Um, and but now, you know, this is entirely up to you to like, you know, what do you, what do you want to fill in the blank? Make it, make it look like how you want, right? That's the end of step two. Now, so now that you've got your chart for your slice, now it's time to combine that little magic into your main view that you have here so that we can see this table, we can see these records inside that chart view that I just made. All right, step number three, copy your, uh, in your, on your parent, okay, so, Step number three, on your parent table, copy the related whatevers that was created by the system. So um, in this app, my parent level is the department. I've got this related employees. I need to copy this. So I just come over here to the formula, copy everything inside there, and create a new formula, a new virtual column. I'll give it the name related employees chart and I'll come in here and I will paste my formula and call it good. Wait for it to validate, hit save, hit done, hit save. So it validates and gets into the system. Okay, that's the end of step number two. Now, if you look at your record inside the app preview, you'll see, like if I go to any one of my parent records over here, you'll see I've got my original related employees and now I have my related employees chart, but it's still using the original table. Okay, step number four, change your formula so that instead of the ref rows using the root table, it now uses that slice that you created in step number one. Let me show you how, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing to do is go get the name of your slice and get it on your clipboard. So I'll go to my slices, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna copy the name of my slice, okay? Then I'll go back to columns, go back to my parent level, and I'm gonna go back to this new virtual column that I made, okay? Go into the formula, and all you gotta do is change out this first part. The inside the ref rows formula, the first part is the name of the table or the slice where you're pulling records from. The second part is the name of the column that connects the two together. The thing that's important in this instance is the first part. It's the name of the table or the slice where you're pulling records from. So all you gotta do is change this to the name of the slice that you created, right? So if I save this and I save this, when we come back, we look down here, okay, now you see it's still on a table. So one last little thing that I need to do is I need to change some of the settings for this virtual column. So if I go into the column settings and you come down here to the referenced table name, right? You see it's still set to employees, which is the root table. The only thing that you need to do is you just need to change this from the root to that slice. And then that's when the magic happens. See it back there? Just like that, suddenly, all the things that we just did kind of fall in place and everything works. So when I look at human resources, I see all of my related employees as a table. And I also have all of my related employees as a chart. And these, right, you see there's only 88 in this list and there's only 88 in this list. And if I was to go through and like compare these two, you'd find they are the exact same list. 
that is how you do it. It's surprisingly simple. It's just there's a few things that you have to do in the right order. And when you do, it all just falls in place. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you like content like this, subscribe. Make sure you check out my website. I release new little walkthrough things like this all the time. See you in the community, everybody.